Oh, my Buntag, Magad and Umaga. It's just before 5 a.m. You can see the sun's just coming up, and I'm here in Mumbai, just outside of Kegi and Duro, and I really want to show you something this morning, which is why I slept in the top of that, that hut thing last night. Really beautiful hut <laughs> in my hammock. So bring it on just before 5. Matanakulas. Heading down to the river, my Buntag. <laughs> this is difficult coming down, look at this. Jeez. You can see I'm just on like a cliff side that hangs over here into the river, but check this out. <laughs> They've built like some bamboo contraptions and a ladder to be able to climb up. Take a look. in the middle of it. Okay, okay, okay. So what you just saw, that was the normal commute to school or work, okay? Like, I, I'll talk about it in a minute. I still, I gotta collect my thoughts, man. Like, holy smokes. That'd be... <laughs> yes! Nice! Get a bike, I'm gonna get the charge. 
fucking stand. <laughs> like, that kid is five years old, and that's his commute to school every day, across a river, up a mountainside, and then, like, how do you even put that into words? Like, it's unbelievable. So for people to complain about their commutes in life, or the things they have to deal with, or, like, having to drive through tra bad traffic, just watch these kids. <laughs> So imagine that, Picasso Suba after you cross the river, now Baklai Ta'asa mountainside, like, that's a good way to wake up in the morning. These kids, these guys don't need to do, and girls, don't need to do any phys ed in school. They get it every morning, grab me. Earlier, I didn't really know what to say. As you could tell in the video, it's kind of like, whoa, these kids have to do all this just to get to school. Really an eye-opener. Um, a lot of people in this world have to deal with a lot of tough stuff. There's people dealing with even harder stuff than those kids have to go through. Uh, the coolest thing is, sometimes we can just do simple things, whether hanging out with people, sharing happiness, you know, giving back on, which is what I did earlier before they went to school. In this case, I'm very blessed that I sold some shirts about a month ago, and it got me a little bit of extra money. And earlier what I did is I talked to one of the parents and I got a list. This is a list of all 18 kids, their ages, what grades they're in. And then I asked, you know, what, what could they use? What, what could help you guys in this situation? And it turns out none of them have raincoats, none of them had Pai Young. There was one Pai Young, one umbrella for all 18 kids. So what I did is I went into the city today uh, after the kids went to school and we bought stuff like uh, rain, raincoats, Pai Young umbrellas, I got some waterproof containers for lunch. Uh, I got, we, we put it all together in here. There's 18 individual packs. Uh, there's even a, a towel, in case a nice brand new towel, so when they make Lee go in the morning, they can be fresh. There's gonna be a toothpaste, toothbrush, lots of good stuff, so just basics, but really important as well, stuff to keep them dry uh, in case it rains. So, because that's one of the problems, when it rains, these kids have nothing to protect them. So, the least I could do, uh, and actually, I didn't do it, it was you guys, so. Thank you, thank you everybody who follows my journey. Thanks for buying shirts before and you know, allowing me to help in a bigger way in this case. But again, any little bit helps, right? Even just hanging out with these kids this morning, I was talking to some locals and it was just making them happy. You know what, they really appreciated it. But in this case, they're gonna be happier. You know why? Because they don't know this is gonna happen. They're about to come back from school at 3.30. We're gonna wait here at the trailhead. I got all the stuff. Ions. So let's surprise some kids this morning. Let's surprise some kids this afternoon. Bring it on. Ayas. Salamat na. Oh, this is amazing. We're handing out everything now. We got them on the street. These are all the kids. Up here, oh, Kuskan! Slamana, up here, and Pingna, Slamana, up here, and Pingna, Slamana, Slamabana. Ah, yes! That was cool. Now they're all gonna go back and cross the river to go home, but they got a little bit more stuff, so it makes you really happy. And ah, yes, ah, yes. Slamana! Oi! I can't eat stuff!